season in history with a seventh national championship. Dog pile Sooners. Dynasty mode activated. Unapologetic, undisputed, and in the end, undeniable. It's a dynasty in the dirt, and it's located in Norman, Oklahoma. The Sooners have gone back to back to back. And for the seventh time in program history, Oklahoma is national champions. The scene outside of Marita Hines Field today at 4.30. Fans lined up outside the gates to witness this team in action in the battle series. Fall ball is upon us and it feels like we just got done celebrating a national championship. I'm DJ Sanchez alongside Sooner All-American Dusty Martinez and welcome to the battle series brought to you by Loves, the heart of the highway. And Destiny, amazing crowd here tonight. Um, there, are, you, would, you would almost think that we're in the middle of a Big 12 series <laughs> in the middle of April. Such an amazing sight to see when I pulled up here. I was like, oh, I forgot. We got to get here a lot earlier than 4.30. So, you know, seeing the fans out there, seeing this battle series take lead in this, it's so amazing to see the fans show up the way they did. A little bit of a different evening here tonight in the way that things are going to be scored. Um, as we mentioned, the battle series, and we are underway as the senior hurler, Nicole May, fires strike one to start the fall season. And a few different things at work here in this battle series. Three teams, a different view of what a typical inter squad would look like in the way of having three separate offenses. And we're gonna see each of those every single inning. And scoring's gonna look a little bit different too. In this battle series, the point system, very similar to some of what we see in the Athletes Unlimited League, but very different as far as the day-to-day. -day. A home run is worth 40 points, a triple 30, a double 20, a single 10. And earning those points, in every facet of this game, it just, it creates a different type of battle. Your base running, earning points, doing the little things. Stolen bases. And Nicole May, off to a good start here in a 2-2 count to Alyssa Brito. But Dustin, you gotta love the, the type of atmosphere that this type of point system Yes, I, you know, I think what this point system can really do for these athletes is a lot of teams will look at their fall season and just kind of figure out how to fill their schedule, play some teams that you don't truly get to see your athletes get this much better. So I think for us, getting to see the Sooners kind of compete against one another, get their point system up. And Nicole May starting the game off. Avery Hodge fires it across for out number one. And let's go ahead and take a look at the batting order for each team presented by Oklahoma Buick GMC. And Alyssa Brito led it off for team one. Hannah Core, Riley Ludlam, and Riley Boone for team one. We will see team two after Nicole May and her team get their three outs. Jada Coleman leading it off for team two. as Nicole May really gaining points, getting that first pitch strike. Yeah. And getting to see these pitchers in action against quality hitters, I think is so important. I think this is a really good opportunity for the freshmen to showcase their talent. We've seen the seniors, we've got 10 seniors this season, but we kind of know what they're about. But again, getting to see everybody compete at a high level, this is going to tell us really who our, starting, who our starters are for the spring. You know, we talked a little bit about we've lost some great athletes. Grace Lyons over at shortstop. It's going to be a complete battle. So getting to see these athletes really compete for the sport, the, the point system, and everything that goes into this, I'm really excited for this battle series. And speaking of compete, Nicole May came to play. 
called strike three. The senior transfer, Riley Ludlam, and Nicole May looking as cool as ever. I mean, that's that's one thing I love about Nicole May so much is set to face off senior matchup here against Riley Boone, but she always has the same demeanor. It does not matter the situation. And that's that's one thing, in my opinion, that makes Nicole May so great. Yeah. I love her leadership. She's so cool, calm, and collected. She's grown a lot. It's been really cool to see her develop throughout the years. You know, that's one thing. I think one of the, the biggest praises you can get from Coach Gasso, and we heard, heard her say this last week when we had the opportunity to speak with her, is Nicole May keeps getting better. Yes, she keeps getting better. And I think one big thing that stuck out in that same conversation was she referred to her as the leader in the circle. You know, she, she's continuing to learn, but she's also taken on that leadership role, which is huge for Coach Gasso to say that about you. That shows a lot of character, a lot of grit. And what a catch out in left field. Maya Bland ending the inning quickly for team one. And Nicole May coming out strong to start the battle series. Moving on to team two and Jada Coleman set to try to get something started for team two. Well, probably like most people, the word cancer, you know, it, it scared me, scared my family, and it was determined that I did have a severe case of prostate cancer. Pretty much since I was 18 years old, when I joined the military, I wanted to help others. I wanted to serve others. It's very hard for me to allow others to take care of me. Without Stevenson Cancer Center, I don't think that I would have had as much success as what we're experiencing now. Oklahoma Athletics is proud to announce our Community Cornerstone Partnership with Valorado Group, OG&E, OU Health, and Coca-Cola. With their support and partnership, we have been able to increase STEM education opportunities to Oklahoma public schools, donate over 1,500 pounds of school supplies and food to Oklahoma families, and have raised over $50,000 for the OU Children's Hospital. We are thankful for their continued commitment to support Oklahoma communities through this partnership. From growing up with the Tuttle Tigers to playing with the Sooners, my whole life has been about teamwork. But the team I'm most proud of is the one at Air Comfort Solutions. In the last 15 years, the ACS team has helped hundreds of thousands of families and businesses stay comfortable. I know something about winning teams, and when you call ACS, you've made the winning call. Jada Coleman set to lead it off for team two in what we're going to call the middle of the first inning. <laughs> Each team's <laughs> rotating three times, but man, talk about, we talked about the dynasty to start this game, but there are very few offenses in the history of collegiate softball that have done what this team has done offensively. They have been so fun to watch and I think for us to get to see them compete against each other, for Jada Coleman to do what she does off of some of the best pitching. And did it right there, one pitch. And Jada Coleman is aboard for team two and doing exactly what you called, Destiny. It's aggressiveness and just absolutely lacing the first thing she sees right back where it came from. Jada Coleman does not miss. Just getting your opportunities your first at bat in the battle series, getting your fans involved, getting the excitement back in the fall. Jada Coleman j did just that. Kinsey Hansen set to face Kelly Maxwell. And we're not gonna get into it a ton, but one of the biggest transfers to hit the portal this summer and wound up not too far. But got to love you listening to Coach Gasso and what she's said about Kelly Maxwell. So this one's lifted well to right field. But Maya Bland there to take care of it, switching from left field to right field mid-inning. Again, you're going to see so many changes defensively coming from these teams. Again, three teams, 
through and through, we're going to see a distinct difference offensively between team one, two, and three. The defenses obviously are going to, going to be mixed in a bit, but Maya Bland getting some work out in the outfield as the freshman, Cassidy Pickering, stands in to take her first at bat in game mode here at Marita Hines. Pretty cool. So exciting. I'm excited to see her. Coach Gasso had some really great things to say about her. And I think getting to face your own teammates, a picture like, like Kelly Maxwell, getting to face her in this opportunity is huge. That defense just shining as it always does. But Kelly Maxwell first pitches in a game in a Sooner uniform and it's really awesome to talk to coach about Kelly and just kind of, you know, Kelly Maxwell has had such an unbelievable career. Yeah, she really has. And seeing her here in Norman, nothing to prove, just getting used to things and feeling what it's like to be a Sooner and getting out of a little bit of a jam. And we're scoreless as Team 3 is set to get their first up bat here in the Battle Series. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. When you can save on Target's Good & Gather groceries and all the fall flavor. Mm, only five bucks, Whopper Junior times two. Double the juniors, that's your cue. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. Mm. Only five bucks, Whopper Junior times two. Double the juniors, that's your cue. One for you, one for your friends to go. JK, you ate them both, they'll never know. BK. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. No fees or minimums and no overdraft fees are another reason banking with Capital One is an even easier decision than this. We need a clutch hit. Derek. Jeter. Hang in there, rookie. Yep, even easier than that. What's in your wallet? Here's where legends are born, and every match is a spectacle. For the love of football, for the love of La Liga. A nice shot of associate head coach Jennifer Rocha entering her sixth season. And man, what a six seasons it has been. So much success. And we've talked so much about the offense and how unbelievable um, this Sooner offense has been. But the pitching has been just as dominant. The pitching has been great with Coach Rocha coming in and really making some good changes for our pitching staff. Just understanding taking the time to understand each pitcher each mentality what each pitcher needs to get better and to be their best she's been you know handed a really good pitching staff and nicole may we've gotten kelly maxwell kirsten deal lots of great pitchers and coach roach is a really quality coach i love her kind of demeanor she's just very gentle with them it seems as you know, they can really be themselves around her, and she's able to pull the best out of them. So it's been great six years watching her you know, really th thrive with this pitching staff. T.R.A. Jennings leading it off for Team 3 against Nicole May. And, you know, we've used that word demeanor a lot, I feel like, so far. And we're, we're only in what we're going to call the bottom of the first now. <laughs> okay, again, three teams each getting an at-bat every inning for four innings. But, you know, we, we talk so much about Nicole May and her demeanor, and you mentioned this a little bit earlier, Destiny. Coach Gasso talking about how Nicole has just been the leader of the staff. And it's interesting to think about because you have a pitcher like Kelly Maxwell, who 
is a two-time All-American in her own right, um, but coming into a completely different situation. Yeah. And Kirsten Deal, who really kind of came into her own last year, but it's really been awesome to see Nicole May sort of take the reins of the entire pitching staff as a senior. I think we have a lot to look forward to this season in, in Peyton Monticelli, you know, joining the staff. Great, talented pitcher. And what a play. Up the middle. And tell you what, making it look easy. But that's not <laughs> an easy play. Up the middle. And throwing Tiare Jennings out by a good foot. Avery Hodge is really covering some ground. I think this is a really good opportunity to kind of prove that she can play infield. She can do what it takes to earn one of those middle spots. Something I love about Avery Hodge as the freshman Ella Parker stands in to face Nicole May and get her first at bat in a Sooner uniform. But Avery Hodge is just so smooth. Doesn't matter where you put her. Just pure athleticism as an infielder. She makes it look so fun too. Yep. I, I love her, again, demeanor. The way she looks out there just looks so fun. Makes it look real simple. Able to cover a lot of ground. A lot of changes up the middle of this season. You know, obviously with the graduation of Grace Lyons, I think I'm probably the most upset of anybody. <laughs> um, I, I loved watching Grace Lyons so much in, in her career, but big shoes to fill. Yeah. It's a really tough position to to take over after a player like Grace Lyons leaves. And Ella Parker, the freshman, drawn the walk. And the first base runner off of Nicole May so far tonight. as Maya Bland stands in, back-to-back -back freshman, getting at bats off of the senior. Hit well to left center field, but Jada Coleman covers it all. She got some great things to say about all the freshmen. Lots of expectations, Ella Parker, Got a great bat. You've heard the same thing about Maya Bland. She's really excited to see what these athletes can, can do this season. Big swing and a miss. And something also I thought that was kind of cool coming from Coach Gasco talking about this freshman class. Three of the four of them left handed. <laughs> so. The word that get getting brought up, dynamic. Almost yeah. every freshman that coach has spoken about, it's dynamic, athletic. Yeah, she kind of referenced, you know, all of their capabilities and potential and, and almost all of them. She's like, she's got power. She's got some speed. She can put a bunt down if I need her to. She can <laughs> do all these things. Like, that's great. It's fantastic. I can't wait to watch these girls play. Nice little change of speeds from Nicole May. Get ahead, one ball and two strikes. And I will say this, we're not gonna get into the the battle series scoring too much. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. Every single pitch is some sort of yeah. point going somewhere somehow. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to keep up. A little bit of back pick action, but Nicole May uh, racking up points, working ahead in counts, getting a two strike counts quickly. see a lot of aggressiveness on, on both sides. I, I think they're swinging at some pretty good pitches early in the count. They're making contact pretty early. Nicole May, she's able to get ahead. She's doing it. The fall ball can be, you know, just it's it's been a little longer for me than you, but um, you look back and 
the fall season is is where you're winning champion. I mean, where you're yeah. winning games in the spring. Yeah, it's where all the grind happens. But not every program has the capability to get that iron sharpens iron culture that this program can get. Yeah, I agree. You know, they, they really grind it out in the fall. They just had their triathlon. I know that's not <laughs> easy. You know that's not easy to get through that as a team and a unit. It takes a lot. And then to come back and have to battle against each other and fully compete for a winner at the end of all of this with the point system, it shows a lot and it takes a lot. Speaking of a lot, Nicole May bringing a lot here so far in the battle series. We're going to head to the second inning as Team 1 rolls back to their offensive spot. The Showplace Theater is the best place for live music. And with some of the best acts around. Like Carly Pierce, October 14th. Super Rodney Carrington, October 27th. Flatland Cavalry, November 10th. And Justin Moore, November 18th. Riverwind, the Metro's best casino experience. You know, burgers and classic cars aren't all that different. They're well-built, pretty to look at, and never goes out of style. This guy gets it. That's why our signature here at The Garage goes by the classic. Fresh from the flat top, the old school way. Served best with cold beer, fresh cut fries, and good folks. The classic. Only $4.49 all month. That's a really good price. Keep the classic. The Garage. Classic indeed. There's only one Oklahoma, and there's only one place with the legacy of serving the state with the largest furniture selection at the lowest prices for over 60 years. Mathis Home is now a proud sponsor of Oklahoma Athletics. We're honored to carry on a tradition of excellence in partnership with the University of Oklahoma. We're committed to providing the best shopping experience and the best value to every customer. Come see why we're your furniture leader at Mathis Home. Nice shot of the wall here at Marita Heinz Field. The back to back championships are out there. The third back will be there soon. <laughs> but talk about a dynasty. That is the best word that anyone can have to describe it. Three national championships in the last three seasons, 176 and eight. And with that, 103 run rolls. That's unreal. That is unbelievable. I remember going over some of these games and just counting how many innings they've missed out on from that amount of run rules. And it is incredible how many games they kind of, once that all adds up, it's insane what they did in the last three seasons. It was so fun to watch. You take that even further in, you know, that graphic showing this team outscoring opponents 1,718 to 241. Um, eight losses? In three years? Yes, that's it. Um, of that, also riding a 53-game win streak that is going to extend into the 2024 season. So when this team picks up in February, they will be riding a 53-game win streak into their first game in February. So <laughs> dominant, <laughs> I think, is an understatement. And then there's 10 seniors. So they've all been a part of one of those championships, at least. It, it, it's crazy. And of those seniors, I mean, you take a look at this field right now. T.R.A. Jennings, Jada Coleman, Riley Boone. These are players who have never finished a season without winning a national championship. Yeah. yeah. It's it's unthinkable. It's, it's at a point now where you're, it's almost laughable. <laughs> you know, you walk away and go, there are players on this team who are one national championship away from never ending their season on a loss. Yeah. And then, you know, we welcome Kelly Maxwell and she's competed at a very high level. Her only goal right now is to go out with a national championship. And Kelly Maxwell, and we, I don't think we can say it enough. I have always been such a huge fan of her and the way that she throws and 
throw is not even the right word. She is just an absolute pitcher. There's a difference between throwing and pitching, and Kelly Maxwell pitches. Everything that crosses the plate for her is a deliberate pitch. It's a deliberate spot, and so excited to see what she can do this season. Hannah Core drawing the leadoff walk for team one. And walks are pretty, pretty killer in this battle series point system. 10 points to the batter. Rito lifts the 1-0 deep to right field, but Cassidy Pickering grabs it at the warning track and one away for Kelly Maxwell. Maxwell, good response to that leadoff walk, but Pickering having a good time out and right. Here's what I love about that catch more than anything. First person to go give Pickering a little bit of feedback, Jada Coleman. Always. <laughs> Always. Pickering, the freshman out of Houston. And another new face in Riley Ledlam. A senior transfer. A lot of new faces in this program this season. Little ground ball. And what a jump by Hannah Core at first base. Not even close. <laughs> Jennings just having to get the safe out at first, but quickly two outs for Kelly Maxwell. Riley Boone, talk about energy. That's all, I know I know you're a Riley Boone fan, Destiny. <laughs> she, I have really loved watching her blossom. I remember, you know, her freshman year, she was a little bit shy in her shell, played here and there, but I've loved just watching her own the field and become a woman, just, it has been really incredible to see her blossom the way that she has and just have fun. She makes the game look so fun. She's always talking, lots of energy, owns her role. And Riley Boone's seen quite a few roles during her time yeah. here. Well hit ball to left field. Maya Bland on her horse and gonna make a great catch over the shoulder to end the inning and save a run. Maya Bland showing the leather. And getting Kelly Maxwell out of the inning. Team two, do up. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves <laughs> to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot. Thank you very much. You'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. When Target's Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you get low prices on the trends you love. That's totally Target. Today, foodies everywhere are combining new ingredients with old favorites. That's why they're using Tony Sachery's famous Creole seasoning blends. They add big flavor to your favorite recipes, and that's worth sharing. Tony Sachery's makes everything taste great. Brought to you by Riverwind Casino. It's always a good time. 
Taco Mayo. Big appetite, bigger savings. Download and save today. Mathis Home, official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. Loves Travel Stops, the heart of the highway. We're in the middle of the second inning as Jada Coleman is set to lead it off for Team 2 amongst what is nearly a sellout crowd for the battle series. I'm DJ Sanchez along with Destiny Martinez and we have had a battle so far in this game, Destiny. It has been a really good battle. I've seen a lot of aggressiveness on both sides of the plate. Great pitching so far. A lot of our hitters have been very aggressive in the box. Lots of hard hits that are, you know, kind of just right at people, mm -hmm. but I think it's it's a good thing for the first game of the fall. We're in a good spot. And here's what's pretty cool about this, as Kirsten Deal gets her first outing of the fall in the circle. But, you know, talking about reward, rewarding um, the good things, you know, a lot of hard hit balls, but they've been right out people. Um, a lot of good things that we're seeing in the circle as well. But here's what's neat about the battle series. There is an internal scoring system that is rewarding these players and these teams, and there are three of them, for the little things that they do well. I think it helps you as a hitter and as a defender to be a lot more aggressive or decisive in what's going on when you understand that you have a point system for yourself and your team. So I think, you know, not only are they trying to just come out here and perform and, you know, do the best that they can, uh, there's a whole point system and there's a lot of positions that kind of need to be filled here. Jada Coleman staying alive in the one, two count from Kirsten Deal and the lefty in Deal just I was so impressed with the growth that we saw from her in her freshman season. She looked like a different pitcher in May than she did in February. And, and for a freshman, I feel like that's one of the best compliments mm -hmm. that you can give a freshman pitcher. And Melissa Burrito scooping it up. And Ella Parker, the freshman, doing a good job with a little bit of a wide throw to retire Jada Coleman. Kinsey Hansen stands in. We talked to Coach Gasso, and she had a lot of unbelievable things to say about this freshman recruiting class. And Ella Parker, you know, has done a lot in her very short amount of time here at practice and working in different positions. A good play by the freshman. Even just what we've seen through a full inning and a half. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of movement within the infield. We're seeing Tiare kind of move around. We've seen Alyssa Brito move around. We've seen Ella Parker thrown out there. Alina, Avery Hodge. We've seen a lot of movement within the infield. You know, and Destiny, you talked about this a little bit. Um, there are some there are some positions that are not quite ironed out, right? Yeah. Um, Shortstop, I think, being the most glaring of all. And, you know, you talk to Coach Gasso, one of the beauties of having such dynamic athletes on a team is you have different options. Yeah. And there aren't many teams that can always say that. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of tough decisions that need to be made. I, I know we've, we've lost Grace Lyons at shortstop, but it's a tough thing if you've got to move Tiare from second, which we've seen her just dominate second base her whole career, that would be a big adjustment for her. I 100% know she could do it, but I think those are big decisions that have to be made. i have seen Jennings at short right now in this rotation, but to, I'm gonna use Coach Gasso's words, the shortstop challengers. I yeah. liked I liked the way that she said it because you know everything within this program is a challenge, right? Um, nothing is ever given. Everything is earned. Everything is a challenge. But the the challengers for shortstop right now is Hanson laces a ball to right field gets past 
Maya Bland, and Hanson's gonna round second. And it's a one out triple for Kinsey Hanson. I like the effort out there by Maya Bland, just giving it all she's got to potentially try to make this catch. Just landed right in front of her glove and was able to bounce right over. Great effort from the freshman. Just got to find a way to keep that ball in front of you. Absolutely laced by Kinsey Hansen. One of the one of the scoring within the battle series is something that that Coach J T Gasso was calling a seed. Um, I got a feeling that was a seed. Yeah. As if it's <laughs> if it's registering off the bat over There's 70 mile one. an hour. <laughs> and speaking of seed. The freshman picking up the first two runs of the battle series with a two run shot to make it two nothing team two and Cassidy Pickering absolutely laced. <laughs> Goodness gracious, to the deepest part of the field. Yes, and Coach Gasso warned us about her. She gave us some good feedback. She has all the faith in Cassidy Pickering. Coming in as a freshman, lefty, she said she's got great power. She could potentially be looking in the leadoff, five, six hole. You know, you, you, she's able to really move her around the lineup. She's also dynamic. She, Coach Gasso said she could drop a button if I needed her to. She can beat some stuff out. But she definitely just proved that she's got the power to be at any point in that lineup. Avery Hodge stands in, trying to keep this rally alive for team two. And big hack coming from Hodge. Gotta love the poise from the freshman Pickering. First hit called a two-run shot. Why not? <laughs> and I love this opportunity for the freshmen specifically. I know that a lot of teams will play, you know, who they'll just kind of fill their fall schedule, get some reps, get some different eyes on different pitchers, play some local teams. But I think when you get an opportunity to face a pitcher like Kirsten Dill, Kelly Maxwell, Nicole May, and, and you're able to do what Cassidy Pickering just did as a freshman in your fall, that shows us she's got a lot of room to grow. Yeah, and this, again, it's it's tough. I feel like it's so easy for us to stand up here and talk about this offense and what this offense did last season. Um, let's not forget that this pitching stuff led the country in the yep. Um Kirsten Deal, a part of that. 0.96 overall in 2023 for the Sooner pitching staff. And Deal responds with the called third strike to Avery Hodge. I like that answer. Kirsten Deal coming in, staying hot. Bouncing back from the home run she gave up to the freshman. That's something that we've seen from Deal. Again, just the the way that she goes about her business. Nothing seems to phase her. And in all of this, three teams offensively. Three complete teams offensively. And I use that word complete very loosely. Uh, <laughs> uh, team one. Four <laughs> offensive players, team two, four off offensive players, and team three has five. So these lineups are going to roll over quickly. Nothing like facing Jada Coleman two times in one inning. Yeah, tough. But it's such a challenge. It's a it's a challenge for everybody, hitters included. Defense, you know, they're they're getting opportunities to make some good plays behind some good pitchers against some good hitters. <laughs> Nice curveball from Deal. The lefty does such a great job of breaking the knee with the curveball. Deal 
is in such a unique position too with Kelly Maxwell transferring in, a lefty mm -hmm. who lives on that on that curveball a lot. Um, another opportunity to learn from a, another All-American who is now on this staff. Riley Ludlam behind the plate. Getting opportunities to see all different pitchers and get comfortable handling this entire staff. Popped up. It's going to get out of play and almost a great play in the stands, not quite. <laughs> I'm still. I almost get chills thinking about the environment and what this program has built. I mean, it's unbelievable the turnout here tonight to see this battle series and watching this team essentially scrimmage. Yeah. Oh, you fans are the best. No question. <laughs> it's incredible. I don't see an empty seat. I mean, and it's. It's the fall, and they they don't have a true opponent. <laughs> it's incredible. Amazing part. One of the amazing things about this team, the opponent they've got, even when this team is split, is still one of the best in the country. But Deal responds after a two-run shot. From the freshman, Cassidy Pickering, putting team two on top, two zip, as team three gets ready for their second at bat. I'm Noble McIntyre. When choices become weapons, lives are forever changed. Drunk driving is an act of reckless disregard that shatters families and futures. At McIntyre Law, we understand the hurt and frustration that follows a drunk driving accident. Our dedicated team fights to ensure accountability for the pain inflicted. We will fight to hold the drunk driver responsible, pursuing the justice you deserve. If you or a loved one has been the victim of a drunk driving accident, call McIntyre Law at 405-777-7000. We will fight for you. Fowler Automotive is proud to be a part of your community where our passion and values lie far beyond the showroom. We believe that families, sports, art, and culture are at the heart of every thriving community. And it's important to us that we help build the communities that our dealerships call home. Stop by any of our six Oklahoma dealerships to see the Fowler standard hard at work. We pride ourselves on being friendly, helpful, honest, and fair. This is what drives us every day. Fowler Automotive, a proud partner of OU Athletics. Beautiful evening here in Norman. A little breezy, 72 degrees with 19 mile an hour winds, basically blowing right out to right center field. Uh, Trails weather report brought to you by the Trails Golf Club of Norman, where you where you will experience everything you love about golf and more. Team three looking to answer back after the freshman Cassidy Pickering put. Team two on the board, two nothing. Team one and three still scoreless. It's been an incredible night. <laughs> Lots of good stuff on the field. They are scoreless. Cassidy Pickering having that one shot. Kinsey Hansen getting to third on that ball that got past Maya in right field. A Little bit of action, but lots of good plays, lots of good at bats and great pitching. You know, and I think one thing and the expectation for this team, not just the outward expectation, but the expectation um, for themselves is always high. That's just the standard of this, of this program. That has always been the standard of OU softball. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think one thing you're looking for so early in the fall um, is just being clean, playing the game clean. 
And I feel like we've seen that here tonight. I think, you know, getting used to each other, we, we've gotten to see some players in just different positions that we've really never seen before. So finding that comfort and, you know, understanding the communication and you're turning to and who's behind the plate and where should balls be going. I think it looks pretty clean so far. And you can just see the learning that's going on. Mm. And that probably sounds bizarre to some people going, well, this is this is the three time, the three P <laughs> national championship team, right? Where do you go from here? Well, you keep going up. Yeah. You keep going, you keep learning. Um, and it's it's so cool to watch Jada Coleman and, you know, if we go back, Kenzie Hansen, just a half inning ago, absolutely smashed the ball to right field. And you see the freshman hesitate just a hair. I love the effort, but that's a learning experience for Maya Bland, right? You can't let that ball get past you. Um, Riley Boone, first person there yeah. to have a conversation with her. So just the learning that's going on between teammates. Mm -hmm. I think that shows a lot for the senior leadership. There's 10 seniors out here this season. All of them have great information to share with the freshman class. I love that they're doing it. We're witnessing it in game one. I hear a lot of talking out there too. You know, and I think if we were to ask this coaching staff, uh, and I could be, I could be reaching here a little bit, uh, but I don't think so. I mean, we both, we both played in this program, <laughs> Destiny. As a coach, you want to be able to not have to say a lot because your players take things over. That's the, that's the sign of a great team. Yeah. And Coach Gasso looks for that. She yes. looks to the leadership or the captains or, and, and I don't think at this point in the season those are named yet, but. You know, she looks to those senior leaders for to be the ones. Hey, get this figured out. Get this switched up. Get find comfort in that athlete. Learn how to handle those outfielders. Jada Coleman, you handle all of those outfielders. She has those leadership roles. And I love that we're able to really see them own those roles. And that's not something so much easier said than done. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Most teams don't have that. Right. It doesn't. Um, you see your coaching staff running things and still, still coaching them up in games. And the staff does that absolutely. But you see the nuances that this team has, and in the leadership and the confidence, and an understanding of the game. It's tough to teach. I think it takes a lot of trust too. Um, and I think. That's one thing that even off the field is important to be those leaders off the field. And I think Coach Gasso does a really good job of making sure everybody understands that. All right, Jennings looking for her first hit of the night, grounded out to second base. Back in the, we'll, we'll call it the first inning. <laughs> These innings essentially being broken up into thirds and each team getting an at-bat in one inning. So extending these innings into thirds. Hard ground ball, but Avery Hodge looking to turn two and she'll get it done. Big out for Nicole May and Avery Hodge has been really good up the middle tonight. She has been great to watch. I love her placement on that pitch. Just understanding what's being thrown by Nicole May, where to position herself. She's kind of playing up the middle, but able to really field that ball cleanly, take it herself, and get that second out at first base. Avery Hodge, one of those challengers for the shortstop position that we've heard Coach Gasso talk about and saw a little bit of time last year in different spots, but so smooth and so just smart up the middle. Freshman Ella Parker stands in to face Nicole May. Good take and Dustin, you and I were talking about this before the game started and I feel like Coach Gasso gave Ella Parker one of the 
the biggest compliments I think you could give a young player. And saying, <laughs> I know it's coming. She's going to be the next <laughs> young name at the plate. And she compared her to another very, um, very known name in the sport of she softball. Just, yes. Um, but saying that Ella Parker could be the next Jocelyn Ola, that's a huge yeah. statement. That's a big statement. Um, you know, seeing a freshman in Ella Parker. But Coach Gasso knows. She can sense these things in these athletes as she's recruiting. She understands their potential. And I think by the time Ella understands, once she gets through the fall, she's going to be solid. And when she becomes a senior, I think it's going to be scary. Um, and if Coach Gasso can you know, preach that before fall even starts, I think we've got a lot of exciting things coming from Ella Parker. The lefty drew a walk in her first at bat. And showing patience here again as she's worked the count full off of the senior, Nicole May. And I love seeing these freshman senior matchups in this battle series. But such patience at the plate from the freshman. Ground ball up the middle, and it's Ella Parker's first hit in a Sooner uniform. And just haven't solid at bats. Destiny, seen a lot of pitches. Yeah. She had really decisive in the box, getting a pitch that she's able to work with. I mean, when you're facing a pitcher like Nicole May, you know that she's going to paint the corners and kind of move that ball around. So as a freshman, understanding what it takes to get a ball through off of a pitcher like Nicole May, it takes a lot of patience. And kind of got a, on a pitch that fooled her just a little bit, but enough power to square it up and squeak it through to find some green as Maya Bland stands in. Another one of the freshman lefties. Blew out in her first at bat, but made a couple good plays defensively. A little adjustment here on defense with Tiare now at third, Alyssa Brito at short, Avery Hodge at second base. Brito, seen her so much at third. Another athlete who is getting some time at short and second. And, you know, talking to coach, it's I need you to be able to play short, second, third, <laughs> and do them all well. Yeah. Lots of rotations have gone on at practice so far. Just trying to get everybody comfortable, make sure they're all interchangeable. You've got to be able to play all three. Deep fly ball to right center field. And it's going to get out of here. Two home runs here tonight, both of them by freshman Destiny. That was an absolute bomb. Just directly over that right center fence. Maya Bland getting a hold of one. She's quick around the base pass too. <laughs> as soon as that was off her bat, she was out of there. That home run was brought to you by Paycom. Score big by letting employees do their own payroll. Learn more at paycom.com and that home run was a flat out line drive. Love to see it from the freshman. Just like that, team three knots it up at two. And the freshman getting it done. Gotta leave the fans happy. Another new face and Nellie McEnroe Marinas. Part of that freshman class struck out in her first at bat. Looking to keep the rally going for team three. Talked about this a lot 
battle series, all of this internal scoring that is going on. And you've got the scoring happening for each team. So obviously the runs that are up on the board. And then you have the scoring that's happening beyond. And we've talked about it quite a bit as far as all of the, the extra things that are going on. But a home run is worth 40 points. So in that time, two freshmen putting up 80 points between the two of them for their respective teams. And Nicole May picking up a few points of her own with the strikeout to end the inning. Teams two and three tied up at two. And Pickering, the freshman, getting in on the fun as Maya Bland hits an absolute shot to tie the game up at two. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. When you can save on Target's Good & Gather groceries in all the fall flavors. When quality ingredients bring more to the table. And when you're serving up taste they love at low prices, that's totally Target. Today, foodies everywhere are combining new ingredients with old favorites. That's why they're using Tony Sachery's famous Creole seasoning blends. They add big flavor to your favorite recipes, and that's worth sharing. Tony Sachery's makes everything taste great. <sighs> to what is the top of the third in this battle series here at Marina Heinz Park, where it is also Hispanic Heritage Night. And we are joined by a very special guest, Luis Rendon, up here in the booth. And Luis, thank you for being with thank us. Thank you for having me here. I, I appreciate the invitation. And Luis is going to call the top half of the third inning in Spanish okay. for us. I'll in, do my best. In what is going to be... Um, part of Hispanic Heritage Night. And the Sooners, there are three teams here tonight, and two of the three teams are wearing crimson and cream. Um, on those jerseys, it actually says Los Sooners. So pretty awesome experience here tonight for all the fans as Kelly Maxwell makes her way back into the circle. <laughs> Team one. Do up and team one is the only scoreless team we have here tonight. Yep. Um, so it's team one, and who's on the, on the batting? It's 27. Hannah Core. Hannah Core leading it off for team one. The red shirt sophomore. Okay. Team one looking to answer back. It's It's been a story of twos here tonight, both by way of the home run. And team one looking to get in on the action with Hannah Kaur and Alyssa Burrito on deck. Okay. So I start here? All right, okay. I'm gonna switch the, from English to Spanish now. All right. Bueno, se prepara Hannah Kaur en el bateo. Okay. Maxwell contra Hannah Kaur. Primer piche. Uy, swing y abanica. Buen picheo por parte de Maxwell en la lomita. The 
prepara Maxwell para el picheo. Y ahí línea. Trae. ¡Ay! Se va la pelota. Va a segunda base. ¡Out! ¡Out! Por parte acá del umpire, el oficial. Buena jugada acá por parte del equipo. Uno. And I'll say this, Avery Hodge and that ball getting by. First unclean thing we've seen so far. Um, what a response. Yeah, Avery Hodge, I, I love how, you know, not, didn't go your way on that ball to first. You clean it up, you cover your bag, you finish the play. Gotta love the aggressiveness as Alyssa Brito stands in. Brito, 0 for 2 here tonight with a pair of ground outs. Okay. A ver, aquí si conecta Brito. Nada para Brito aquí que una buena temporada. Una vez. Ahí está Brito. Número 33. Uy, strike, swing. Y abanica otra vez aquí Maxwell. Un tremendo strike. Se reúne aquí con Ken Hensen en la lomita. Nice rise ball from Kelly Maxwell and Brito just taking a moment trying to gather herself and find a way to help get a little momentum for team one. They haven't had much to that. Maxwell. Throwing well in her first outing here at Marina Hines in a Sooner uniform. As we mentioned, it's Hispanic Heritage Night. We are so lucky to have Luis Rendon here with us in the booth, giving you the play-by-play -play in this third inning. A ver, a ver, a ver. Se conecta aquí, si conecta a home run, let's see. Sí, y esa pelotita se va al infinito y al más allá. Alisa Brito, sí señor, anotando para los Sooners. Es así que no la van a ver más. Vaya. Luis, this is the second year in a row oh. that you've come up to the booth and called a home run, right? Yes. He called it before it was hit, too. Yeah, so... There you go. Oh Got lucky. <laughs> that home run brought to you by Paycom. Score big by letting employees do their own payroll. Learn more at paycom.com. And Team One is on the board, Destiny. Just an absolute shot from Brito. I love how she took her <laughs> time you. to adjust and get herself situated in the box after swinging at that rise ball. And just taking her time and restarting. You could see Brito hit the reset button, but I think that the point we're gonna we're gonna give Luis some points. He called the bomb. <laughs> I mean, I kind of thought it was like, it's gonna be a fly, but then I saw oh, it's going through the S. Okay, it's way gone. It's out of here. <laughs> I literally said the infinity and then beyond. <laughs> yeah, it went like did. way far. The senior Riley Ludlam stands in as Team One on the board and ruins. Scorelessness from Kelly Maxwell, making it team two and three. Two runs to team one's one run. So but at the end, everybody's winning. <laughs> two for two. Popped up on the infield, and Jennings switched back to second base. So many defensive changes happening, but good response from Kelly Maxwell. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing so far. I think. You know, she's having to make some adjustments, too. you got some hitters that are going to be patient and going to learn from their mistakes per pitch. 
so I like what Kelly's been able to do in, in sort of making her adjustments as well. Riley Boone stands in, nobody on, two outs. I feel like I should ask Luis what's gonna happen I, I, now. I don't, I, let's see, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I doubt I'll get that lucky and feel for I don't know how but. Hey, you're two for two. We gotta get you up at the World Series. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> you need a rally, bring in Luis. <laughs> Big hack by Riley Boone. Boone popped up to left field in her first at bat. As we mentioned, Hispanic Heritage Night here at the ballpark and very Special guest and Luis Rendon in the booth calling the third inning for us. A ver aquí. Boone. Uy. It's amazing that even our fall games are getting theme nights. Pretty awesome. Amazing. No one else in the country. No one else? No one else in the Only country. Only in Oklahoma. There's only one. Riley Boone staying alive, fighting off pitches, doing what she does. Yes. It's what she always finds a way to make pitchers throw a lot of pitches. And that's why I've always liked her in the nine hole when we see her in the spring. Seen Riley Boone in that nine slot a ton. She is the best nine hole hitter in the country. Good battle. Continuing to stay alive. Nobody on, two outs. Riley Boone trying to restart the rally off of Kelly Maxwell. After the solo shot. Seeing that lefty-lefty matchup, Destiny, the curveball just break into the corner. Great location by Kelly Maxwell, but even better take by Riley Boone. Yes. Protect. It's a tough pitch to lay off of. Lefty-lefty matchup, it's not, not ideal. Riley Boone's gonna have to be very decisive, very selective. Spoken so much about this crowd here tonight on Hispanic Heritage Night at Marina Heinz Field. In every single pitch. Oh. Out. Meet Sam. No, uh, yeah, 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 I'll take a break. The long ball. Getting team one on the ball. Meet Sam, the ultimate road trip warrior. Sam loves hitting the open road. That's why she downloaded the Fuel Forward app. Download today and save up to 20 cents per gallon on your first fill up. Then save five cents per gallon every fill up after that. Enjoy everyday savings on fuel at Philip 66, Conoco, and 76 stations. Road trips just got a whole lot better. Thanks to the Fuel Forward app. At Pub W, when we say celebrate the good, we mean celebrate the good. And good things come in pairs. Fried chicken and a nice cold beer, classic good. Avocado toast and a mimosa, you guessed it, good. Or pigs in a blanket with your little pigs in a blanket. Good food, good drink, good people. Celebrate the good at Pub W. Can I get you another beer? 
It's a beautiful morning, Scotty, and we have an early game today. That injured list, it's getting longer by the minute. Not to mention, uh, there's apparently a nasty virus sweeping through the locker room. Yeah, but these players, they're in good hands. All of them need to feel their best this season, Scotty. Yes, they do, Jack, because this team is on track to win it all this year. Every day, Mercy's team is ready to take care of yours, bringing you the care you need now. Find out all the ways to access Mercy at mercynow.net. For. So tick to sooner. Um, over these past three years, this offense has not just led the league and led the NCAA in home runs, but they've put up monstrous numbers. And looks like this team moving into 2024, all runs that have been put up here tonight have also been way of the long ball <laughs> destiny. Maybe seeing a little bit of a trend here, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think they're sticking with it since 2021. They've been going strong with the long ball, you know. We have seen three tonight, two of them from freshmen. So we're going to get to see that for four more years. Uh, we've seen one from Brito. Uh, we love the Brito bomb, but yeah, you know, it's a trend. It's 2021 and honestly, prior to that even. Mm -hmm. And that 161 number, I, NCAA record, that's going to be a tough number to, yeah. to touch. Yeah. Um, Unless it's by this team. I mean, let's let's be real. <laughs> um, three home runs here tonight. Two of those by freshmen. Off of great pitchers. Yes. It's going to be an exciting season. Kenzie Hansen stands in facing Kirsten Deal. We've talked so much about the home runs as this ball's hit well to right field. Maya Bland loves it for out number one, but I'll say this, Kinsey Hansen's scoring the ball up here tonight. Yes, Kinsey Hansen has had a lot of hard hit balls. And I'm also loving the action that I'm seeing Maya Bland get in the outfield. I like what she's doing out there. She's looking like she's having some fun, <laughs> dancing around. Very aggressive out there. She's gotten a lot of action. And the ball just seems to be finding her, the, yeah. the first out of the game. Went right to the freshman. <laughs> so we've seen her in left, we've seen her in right. And speaking of freshmen, Cassidy Pickering, who put team two on the board with her two run home run, takes strike one from Kirsten Deal. But showing, showing some of that, the, the tools that she has in her box, showing bunt. We heard Coach Gasso talking about Pickering and just how dynamic she is. We take a look back at the second inning. One of the hard set balls we've seen tonight, Dustin. Yeah, just a shot right off the bat for the freshman. And I love what we're seeing here, just trying to mix things up, keep the defense on their toes. But if she's able to, you know, hit one out and come back in and kind of keep the defense on their toes, there's nothing more that Coach Gaston should needs to see out of a freshman in game one. You know, you look at fall ball and you think about all of the things that go into it, right? You talked earlier, Destiny, about the, the triathlon, um, early morning workouts, everything that goes into the fall, um, preparing for that spring season. But to see these freshmen and some of these newcomers do what they've done here tonight in front of a massive crowd, yeah. um, there, there are very few things that can prepare you for playing in front of a crowd like this. And how, how big of an asset is it to be able to have this type of turnout for these Battle Series games for some of these freshmen? Yeah, it's huge. I think getting to play on a big stage is is phenomenal, and it definitely sends a different type of adrenaline rush through your body when you're out there. But I think these young ones getting to experience what it's like to play in front of a full crowd only sets them up to be more successful when they're playing in those regionals, those super regionals, the Women's College World Series. I think, you know, the World Series is up to 15, 14,000 with standing room and all of that. You know, they're, they're playing in front of a ton of people. It's loud. There's a lot of different things that go into that. So as a freshman, getting to start out your freshman fall with a sellout crowd. Yeah. <laughs> It's definitely going to help them succeed throughout the rest of their season. 
Chopped up by, by Avery Hodge. And Alyssa Burrito, excuse me, Alina Torres doubles off. Pickering at first base. And the defense gets out of the jam and great pick by Ella Parker at first base. I'll say this, these freshmen showing what they can do. We had to team three. Only five bucks, Whopper Junior times two. Double the juniors, that's your cue. One for you, one for your friends to go. JK, you ate them both, they'll never know. BK, have it your way. With the Venture X card from Capital One, you earn two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Good choice. Ooh, my lucky number. Plus, earn five times miles on flights mm -hmm. and ten times miles oh. on hotels through Capital One Travel. What's in your wallet? Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. There's a saying in Louisiana that's been handed down for generations. Pass a good time. It means whenever friends and family get together, good times and good food is definitely on the table. Tony Sachery's famous Creole seasoning has always been part of that celebration. Whether it's in the kitchen or at the table, it adds authentic Louisiana flavor to your favorite foods and smiles to your favorite faces. So remember to pass a good time and the Tony Sachery's. Tony Sachery's makes everything taste great. Now. Four, and Four and a half times bigger than what we have right now. This is a grand lobby, so people can walk up and look through these windows, and this is going to be all history of Oklahoma softball. So it's going to be very wow. Special, it's a special year for a lot of reasons, but this is pretty cool. And you guys are going to be the first to live in it, so. Coach Gasso giving the team their first tour of Love's Field in opening in the 2024 season. And just what, it's gonna be a cathedral. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. 4,200 seat capacity, 30, over 3,500 of those are going to be fixed seats actually um, sitting in the stadium and 657 standing room. It's gonna be absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait for that place to sell out. And we know it will. We know that there's waiting lists. There's all kinds of different ways to get in on the tickets, but I cannot wait to see that place finished, full. I can't wait to hear it. It's four times bigger than, than what we've experienced, and I just, it's, it's amazing to see the growth of this program and what Coach Gasso has been able to create. Hopped up to the right side, the freshman goes back and off the glove and good hustle by Alina Torres as she slides safely into second base. And we've talked so much about Maya Bland. We've seen her in the outfield, we've seen her in left, we've seen her in right on the infield as well at second base and just not able to come up with the Texas Leaguer. I think, you know, that's a tough ball to read. There is a little bit of wind out there. It looks like she just kind of got mixed up a little bit. Again, that ball needs to be caught. You know, and, it, and so much of that is Tiara Jennings stands in to face the redshirt freshman, S.J. Guerin. You look at that pop-up between second and right field, and you could kind of see the communication breakdown. Mm -hmm. um, but you also see two freshmen on the right side of the field right now. So those are those little things that, that make all of this a learning experience. There is a little bit of a learning curve as a freshman um, coming out, even, even some of the best travel ball programs. You get here and the game moves a little bit different. Yeah. And just learning your teammates. You know, this is the first game that they've played together. Um, I know that there's a lot of simulation in practice and, and you know, you start out, you're doing individuals and you get to, get to get into team practice. So this is the first time they're getting to actually be full speed with one another. They've definitely got time to figure it out. But again, I agree that that's a communication issue and they'll get through that. That's part of what the fall's about.
Jennings looking for her first hit on the night. 0 for 2. Nice pitch by SJ. Just paint the inside corner with the curveball. Here in redshirted last year, did not see time in the circle, but huge upside for SJ Gearin in the circle. And took the words out of my mouth <laughs> with that pitch right there. Good stuff. I mean, she moves the ball well with the strikeout of Tiare Jennings, and that's not something you see from Jennings very often. No, you don't. You don't see that from Tiare, but I think, you know, SJ trying to get a feel for what she's really capable of after her red shirt season. You've, oh, you've got to be able to give her some reps. See what she's capable of. See what she's learned and how she's developed and, you know, where she's kind of starting as a redshirt freshman. I think we're all just getting to learn a little bit more about SJ tonight. And not all pitchers get the opportunity to spend a year learning. Yeah. And not only is SJ getting, has, did she get the opportunity to learn from, from Coach Jen Rocha, who just took a minute to have a conversation with, with Garen in her, in her infield, but she's also getting to learn from the best pitching staff in the country. Mm -hmm. um, Nicole May, Kelly Maxwell. Um, th those two names alone have, have seen almost everything as, as seniors. Ella Parker, the freshman, had a single in her last at bat, drew a walk and has reached base each time she's come to the plate here tonight. A big hack. <laughs> big hack, but great pitch. Mm -hmm. Looks like it just kind of fell off the table on that inside and down corner. Jaren just moving the ball well. You can see the spin. Mm -hmm. Well, the Parker's not playing around. <laughs> you heard the the reaction from this amazing crowd. Um, we heard Coach Gasso talk about the power that the lefty Parker has. And I've just been so impressed with her approach at the plate. Mm -hmm. uh, very deliberate, which is not always what you see from a freshman. Confident. I see a lot of confidence in her. Just trust in her ability. You know, it's, it's really easy, especially in this setting. Again, um, nearly a sold out crowd. This place is packed um, to the brim, really. Well hit to left field. Boone's gonna track it down at the warning track. Hold Torres at second. Another good swing by Parker. And the first time she's been retired tonight, but the poise that she's showing as a freshman in front of this crowd, I've really been impressed with Ella Parker. Yeah, I think she's she's gonna be something great. I love her, you know, just approaching the box. She looks so calm and smooth to contact, very deliberate in her decision making at the plate. Screwball in the inner half coming from Garen has been dirty in this inning. Maya Bland hit a bomb in her last at bat to give team three their two runs that they've put on the board here tonight. And she's gonna crush. <laughs> Just being able to see that ball up in the zone, send it right back to where it came from. And, and again, a freshman getting her opportunities and capitalizing on them. Speaking of capitalizing on opportunities, SJ Gearin coming in, throwing good pitches, moving the ball and looking confident. We're moving on, team one, looking to get back on the board. The Showplace Theater is the best place for live music. And with some of the best acts around. 
Like Carly Pierce, October 14th. Super Rodney Carrington, October 27th. Flatland Cavalry, November 10th. And Justin Moore, November 18th. Riverwind, the Metro's best casino experience. Taco Mayo's classic value menu is, well, a classic. With 10 tracks you can remix and match, the possibilities are endless. And when you order four or more menu items, the price drops to $1.69 each. That's lower than Potato Locos doing the limbo. $1.69 for ingredients this funky fresh? Now that's what I call value. Want savings even sweeter than Cinemayo's? Order through the Taco Mayo app today. Jennings mic'd up, and I'm gonna be—I'm gonna be honest. I could listen to that all day. That's all We're I up want. Here cracking up. That what? Uh, you've got to have that with the, on a team, though. You've got to have that energy, the goofiness, oh, the, just pure joy. Yeah, it's just freedom. Like she's having so much fun out there. And man, what? Just everything that Jennings has done in her career. Amazing to see the woman that she has grown into, and. What a great leader to have for all of these freshmen and these newcomers. A nice bunt right back to Monticelli in the circle. And beating it out. As Monticelli enters the game for her first outing in a Sooner uniform, Peyton Monticelli the Wisconsin trap, the Wisconsin transfer, excuse me, and as we had the opportunity to talk to Coach Gasso about this pitching staff and Monticelli in particular, she said that she is the hardest thrower on this staff. Pumping the gun between 68 and 70 miles an hour consistently. Yeah, and I think, you know, getting an opportunity to utilize that speed and learn from Coach Rocha to figure out the movement piece. She could really be great with the speed and just any adjustments that, that Coach Roach is able to work into her game. Only a sophomore. I think she could be something really great if she's able to utilize that speed and movement together. Hearing Coach Gasso talk about Peyton and her time here so far as Brito shows bunt, pulls it back. Team one, trying to work a little bit short game, make something happen. Gotta get on the board. Hannah Kaur leading the sending off with a bunt single and love the execution from Hannah Kaur leading off the inning. New pitcher in the circle, fresh, and taking advantage of it a little bit. But great execution by Kaur. But, you know, we listened to Coach Gasso talk about Monticelli and her time here so far. And, to use Coach Gasso's words, she said, the upside is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I look at Peyton and what she's done, I think for her, it's being in the strikes and trying to really develop into a pitcher, right? As Brito 
draws the walk, and Team One's got a little bit of something cooking here with runners at first and second, and nobody out. I love the fight that we're seeing in them with Hannah just coming up and finding her way on. Brito just bringing that energy from that walk all the way down to first base, hyping up her team, trying to find a way to tie this game up. It's Kinsey Hansen going to have a little bit of a chat with her pitcher, Monticelli, and you know what? Just trying to settle her down again. Just a sophomore. The Wisconsin transfer. This is her first time throwing in a game in this stadium. But has great velo, throws the ball hard, but maybe need to get into a little bit of that pitcher's mindset, right? Being a pitcher, I'm old and washed up now, but <laughs> um, you always think about, you know, pitching your pitches, not throwing your pitches. And so much of that just comes with, with maturity. I think a lot of the short game attempts as well, I think not only is this gonna apply pressure to Peyton in the circle, but I'm excited to see what the defense does. Runners at first and second, potential bunt opportunity, no outs. Just as you said, Destiny, let them show his bunt. Hard crashing Alina Torres at third base. A little bit of speed at second, Hannah Core. Bunnage foul from Ludlam, and that's that position. Again, these fall ball games, putting pressure, putting your players in pressure situations. Runners at first and second, nobody out. And getting to the point where that execution is there. Yeah. And Ludlam being a, a senior, new face, but senior here, this is an opportunity for her to really step up. Hard hit ball. But Tiara, Tiara Jennings doubles her off at first base. And not a lot Brito could do. Ludlam squared it up well, but right at Jennings. And opportunity here for Monticelli to work out of a jam. Jennings back at second. Seen her at short here tonight. Well hit ball from London. Really well hit. I do think Coach Gasso would have loved to see the bunt execution. Without a doubt. She wanted to see her runners moved. Get the runners in scoring position. Put them in a way different situation than now. We've got Riley Boone, two outs, runner at second. Well, especially for team one who's trailing, right. right? Down a run, got to move runners when you can. What do you want to see from Boone here? Runner in scoring, tying run in scoring position, two outs. I'd like to see her just work one through the gap. We've got a big gap over in the five, six hole. We've got Avery Hodge shifted a little bit more towards second base. There's a big gap over there. I'd like to see her placement. So many different things Riley Boone can do here. I don't think Boone necessarily needs to have the RBI approach. I think she's got to get herself on base. Round ball, good play by Monticelli in the circle, and she works out of it. Finding a way to use her defense and shows a little leather of her own. Team two, do up. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves, to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot. 
you'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot. How doers get more done. Whopper Junior times two, double the juniors that's your cue. One for you, one for your friend to go. JK, you ate them both, they'll never know. BK, have it your way. There's a saying in Louisiana that's been handed down for generations. Pass a good time. It means whenever friends and family get together, good times and good food is definitely on the table. Tony Sachery's famous Creole seasoning has always been part of that celebration. Whether it's in the kitchen or at the table, it adds authentic Louisiana flavor to your favorite foods and smiles to your favorite faces. So remember to pass a good time and the Tony Sachery's. Tony Sachery's makes everything taste great. Sports TV is brought to you by Pizza Hut, the official pizza of the Sooners. Air Comfort Solutions, your total home solution for plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and electrical. Make the winning call today. Team two looking to add to their one run lead as Jada Coleman is set to face the redshirt freshman, S.J. Gearin. Tries to show a little bit of a short game. Following Team One's lead. You're definitely seeing more attempts to at the short game, getting yourself on base. Again, they are playing for a point system. They're playing for themselves. <laughs> They're playing for their team. They're playing to win each inning. Lots of different things go into this point system. Well struck and just hooked foul. And gearing ahead, no balls and two strikes. You know, and Destiny, talking about that point system, um, you know, each player is able to earn points individually. Those points go into their personal, their, their team's overall points in the battle series. Not just the runs on the board, but the points that each player is able to put up themselves and back to back. Smoked that. And Garen, not afraid to come inside. She's using that screwball and running in on these lefties, but working in on the hands. Really been impressed with what she's done uh, in just an inning of work so far, but really moving the ball well. And I think, you know, this is a opportunity for us to finally get to see what she's about and see what she's learned and being a red shirt on this team in this program you learn so much you hear so much you see so much so it's cool to get to, to finally see her execute her ability jada coleman Continue into battle, but <laughs> just keep it loose. That's one thing that I've, I've really enjoyed watching tonight, especially from these seniors. Yeah. Um, just keeping everything nice and loose, but still focused. I will say, Ludlam doing a good job behind the plate. Mm -hmm. Ludlam has done a great job. You know, coming in as a freshman with Kinsey Hansen at the plate, it's it's tough to get to you know have to know your understand your role or, or being new to this team and understanding, hey, I've got pretty solid catcher in front of me who's been here, who knows the program, who understands the system, but understanding that you could also blossom and you could also own your role and still fight to beat her out of that. And what an at bat by Jada Coleman to lead things off for team two and bringing a little bit of salt, just as she always does, but <laughs> trying to get her team amped up. But good at bat from Jada Coleman. Really good at bat, fouled off a lot of pitches, took some pitches, laid off the 
off speeds. Really good battle by Jada Coleman, just really trying to set the tone for her team to get some more runs on the board. Kinsey Hansen stands in. Had a triple earlier in the game, but has squared some things up off of each pitcher that she has seen. And if we're if we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and do a deep dive into the scoring system of the battle series. And Kinsey Hansen herself tonight has racked up 50 points, even though she's just one for three. But 30 points with that triple. And also 20 points on winning an inning. So I love, and there's there's so so much that goes into that, but that's something that Coach Gasso, um, even back before my time, um, focusing on winning every pitch, winning every inning. So a big focus in the battle series is not just putting the points together, but winning the inning. And what a play from Tiare Jennings at shortstop. And she makes it look easy, but that's far from a simple play. Just, I love her. She's just so smooth through the play. It's a tough play. Covered a lot of ground to come on in and make that throw on the run. But she makes it look so simple. She's having a good time out there. Speaking of making things look simple, our Riverwind difference maker of the game is freshman Cassidy Pickering. And what a night for the freshman here this evening. Just not letting a single thing phase her. One for two with a two run shot. And she is responsible for both runs that team two has put on the board. A pair of RBIs and has picked up 76 points. <laughs> freshman having a night. Pickering, she is going to be something special. And we've heard it from Coach before the series even started. But getting to see her in action, Cassidy Pickering, she's strong. She's dynamic. She can do a lot of different things out there. And we're just getting to see the beginning of it. The lefty freshman from the Houston area has made a statement here tonight, and she is our Riverwind difference maker. And pitching change mid-inning as Deal comes in, and again, so much of this battle series and of these games is to put each player in different positions um, to see how they handle it, but also to teach them how to handle it. And I think that's one of these situations now as Deal enters the spinning yeah. in the middle. Yeah, I think, you know, we've seen a lot of movement, lots of interchangeable athletes, and that's what Coach Gasso wants to see. But I think this is a matchup that is very important. I think she wants to be able to see Cassidy, Kirsten battle this one out. This pitching change brought to you by Love's Travel Stops, the heart of the highway. Jada Coleman getting a little, getting a little fancy out at second base, trying to bait Ledlam behind the plate, the Furman transfer. Really handled these pitchers well. Lefty, lefty matchup. It's Pickering stands in. Takes a nice pitch on the inside corner from Deal, and you can kind of see on the look in Deal's face. I agree with her. It's nice location. I'm loving the pitchers coming in at the hands. Pretty tight to the body. They're not afraid to come in at all tonight. You know, and I think that that's something too. And, and Destiny, you and I have called a lot of games over the years. As, especially over these last three years and watching what this offense has done, there are so many pitchers from opposing teams that are afraid to go inside of this yeah. lineup. Yeah. And, you know, you can't live on the outside corner because guess what? This team makes you pay. They've, they've made that very known. You let them get <laughs> extended. Um, it's going to be a short game very quickly. But seeing these pitchers challenge these hitters, they're not going to face better hitters than this at any point. I mean, what an opportunity. Another nice location for Kirsten Deal. 
Pickering drawing the walk with one out and taking some really nice locations. Really good pitches. So she had coach Jen Rocha out to have a chat with Deal in the infield, but runners at first and second. One out for team two. Team two looking to take the lead here in the fourth inning and in what will be the final inning of this game, although we still have one more rotation <laughs> left. Again, each of these innings, basically three prong, three half innings, but team two ahead right now and tied with team three with two runs, team one will not pick up the win as far as runs scored this evening. The nice shot of Fale and recently married. Last name threw me for a loop there for a minute. <laughs> Steel, yes. <laughs> but Coach Steele in her first season. And gotta love seeing Fale coming back to OU and what an addition to this coaching staff. Yeah, I think Coach Gasso has done a really tremendous job of keeping, you know, alumni involved. Um, this is the first hire I, I've seen of a, of a true alumni on staff with, with being allowed that fourth assistant. Um, but what a what a snag. I mean, Absolutely. Fale, her experience here, her leadership, her ability. She understands infield and outfield. She can hit. I mean, she's she's a huge asset to this team, and not only for the experience of playing in the program, but understanding how to coach. And she's got tremendous knowledge in the sport. Fale of you now. Fale steal going to take some getting used to, but huge congratulations and so many things. But, you know, you said it, Destiny. She's been there, done that as a player, and got to love seeing her continue in the sport. And just what an asset. Nicely placed by Avery Hodge and a little bit of a collision there. And you hate to see that as Kinsey Hansen is back to check on Tiare Jennings. I've seen some smiles. That's always a good sign. I think <laughs> maybe just got the breath knocked out of her. But we're seeing we're seeing some laughs. We're seeing some smiles. That's a good sign. But great placement by Avery Hodge. And as Jennings was coming in to field the ball, she made contact with Kinsey Hansen. Kinsey Hansen is out on that play <laughs> is <laughs> Tiare up, smiling, all good. This crowd giving her some cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the battle series is all about, right? That is it. Smiles all around. Great placement by Avery Hodge. Man. And you know what? Jennings also, too, part of that's purposeful. I mean, it, it, uh, let me rephrase that. She's not running into <laughs> her teammate on purpose. However, it, I mean, you know this, too. If you don't have a clear route to the ball, you make contact. Yeah. Plain and simple, because she also, she wasn't going to throw Avery Hodge out at first. Yeah. yeah. Um, well played. On top of all of it, Kinsey Hansen is out for the second out of the inning, leaving runners at first and second for Jada Coleman. And last call here for team two to put a run on the board. <laughs> Just replaying that. I saw Coach Gasso pointing to third base, like Kinsey, get to third base. <laughs> yeah, she's going, get here now. <laughs> And, you know, we're getting live updates from Coach JT Gasso in the dugout as they are doing this point scoring system. And I think this is my favorite text message of the night. It said, unfortunately, no points for Hodge. Um, kind of just going back to you, what a beautifully placed slap yeah. it was. Yeah, that is very unfortunate. <laughs> did not move runners and resulted in and out. 
Good take by Jada Coleman and Deal. Staying with it, working that inside corner. Coleman on the night has racked up 43 points in the point system, and that ought to give a few as it gets in the gap. Pickering will score. Here comes Hodge. Make it four runs for team two after a two out RBI double for Jada Coleman. What a shot from Jada Coleman. Sending that ball deep. She's just so strong. Staying with that on the outside corner, being able to pull that. And team two, making it four runs to put them in the lead. Four to two to one. Again, we've got three teams going. I, I still feel weird saying it, but we're gonna roll with it. And that two out, two RBI double for Coleman puts her at 67 points in the internal scoring that's going on. So big night for Jada Coleman and team two. As we head to the bottom part of the inning, they lead four to two. Thank you to our Cornerstone Television partners, OU Health and Anheuser-Busch. And our community partners, Fowler Auto Group, OU Health, OG&E, and Coca-Cola. The Showplace Theater is the best place for live music. And with some of the best acts around. Like Carly Pierce, October 14th. Super Rodney Carrington, October 27th. Flatland Cavalry, November 10th. And Justin Moore, November 18th. Riverwind, the Metro's best casino experience. Taco Mayo's classic value menu is, well, a classic. With 10 tracks you can remix and match, the possibilities are endless. And when you order four or more menu items, the price drops to $1.69 each. That's lower than Potato Locos doing the limbo. $1.69 for ingredients this funky fresh? Now that's what I call value. Want savings even sweeter than Cinemayo's? Order through the Taco Mayo app today. The 2023 signing class. One of the best in the country, and they're showing it here tonight. Ella Parker, Cassie Pickering, Maya Bland, and Ellie McEnroe Marinas making those names known quickly here this evening in all top 15 players as ranked by Extra Inning Softball, and they've shown it here tonight. They have definitely shown it tonight. Maya Bland getting a lot of action in the outfield, second base, coming up strong, hitting one out. Cassidy Pickering hitting one out. Ella Parker with some really good at bats. We haven't gotten to see Nelly. She's she won't be participating in this series. But what a standout class. And so far, I've loved what I've seen out of the freshmen. And I think something that's been really um, really awesome to kind of see and echoing Coach Gasso a little bit, but so versatile and we're seeing that versatility from these freshmen here tonight in Nellie McEnroe Marinas she is in getting her third at bat here this evening pair of strikeouts looking for her first hit here tonight and nice location from the Wisconsin transfer but these players, every player on this field has 
been put in an uncomfortable situation at some point tonight, right? Play, play a different position. Come into an inning um, in the middle of an inning, in the middle of an at-bat. Um, have your third at bat of the inning. <laughs> third at bat of the inning. <laughs> it's it's been something that is tough to emulate. You can't always emulate those situations in practice. Yeah, it's tough. You know, I think when when we had our our time here, we played these inner squad scrimmages, but it it wasn't so realistic. And I think giving them an opportunity to face quality pitching, quality hitters have some true defensive plays that need to be made. It makes this game so much more real um, in the fall. And I think this is, the, the point system plays a huge role in it with them being able to you know, play for points for them individually, play for points per inning, play for points per game, per, you know, at bat. I think it brings out so much more grit to these athletes. You get to see them fighting early on in the fall. Speaking of fighting, Monticelli with a filthy rise ball up in the eyes to record the strikeout, but there's that velocity. And you're throwing high 60s into 70. It's a tough rise ball. And there it is again. And Tiara Jennings can't lay off. Risewell's that pitch. If you can harness it and get it through the zone and throw it at different le levels, so deadly, especially when you throw nearly 70 mm -hmm. miles an hour. There's that pitch again. Jennings able to get a piece. Jennings, again, that internal scoring system, 22 points here tonight. Two points for a hard hit. And seeing a lot of this tonight, you talked about it earlier, Destiny, some hard hit balls that go down in the scorebook as an out, but players and teams getting rewarded for it here tonight. Seen a lot of quality at bats. Point system is huge, I think, in making smart decisions every at bat. Pitchers having to be on every pitch. The battle series in Oklahoma softball brought to you by Courtyard Marriott. As team three is chasing team two as they trail four to two. Skied high down the line, and we've got Riley Boone, Avery Hodge, and Alyssa Brito giving chase on a ball. A lot going on there. We got <laughs> we got a lot of chuckles, a lot of moving parts. <laughs> but I, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there already. A ball that should have been caught. <laughs> should have been caught. I think. <laughs> Had a bit of a tumble and looks to be OK from our third base umpire, but Everyone converging on the sky high foul ball and Avery Hodge. I retract my statement. I think Avery Hodge would have caught it had she and the third base umpire not yeah, caught it. Yeah, I think that's, that's a ball for Avery Hodge. I think she had the best angle to make that play. Well hit to right center field. And it's going to get down at the wall for a stand up one out double for Tiara Jennings. Pinkerton out in right field, had a good angle. And for a minute, I thought she was gonna catch it. I did too, I thought it was in her in her glove for a second until we saw it kind of pop out right at that, right under the wall between the dirt. A good angle. I mean, I held my breath there for a moment because I thought Pinkerton caught it, or Pickering, excuse me, caught it and right angle, good route, just not able to come up with it and team three making it interesting here with one out and what will be the final at bats of the game in the the bottom bottom of the fourth <laughs> i guess we could call it 
And a really good piece of hitting by Tiare. You see her really take advantage of that mishap over in foul territory, the pitch before. That's, those are things you can't give up. Against hitters like Tiare, you can't allow them any extra opportunities. Ella Parker having a night herself. We've talked so much about these newcomers. Casting Pickering, freshman. So solid at the plate. Ella Parker, two for three here this evening. Another good swing for Parker. Really hard hit. But I love how she's seeing the outside pitch, the inside pitch. Her contact points are really strong. Sending that outside pitch right, hard. Foul ball, but hard. <laughs> Another good swings, and I love Ella Parker's approach. Just, I understand, you know, we, were t we talked about this at the very beginning of this game. Such high praise coming from Coach Gasso about Ella Parker, comparing her to Jocelyn Allo. I see it. Yeah. I understand it. Every swing that she's taken has not been, you know, questioned. It's been very decisive, full speed, aggressive. <laughs> and that's what great hitters do, right? It's, there is, they make up their mind, they yes. attack. There is no question, they're in that attack mode every pitch, and you can see that from the freshmen. Nice pitch from Monticelli, and kind of see some of that velo as Hanson makes her way out. Kind of get crossed up a little bit, maybe a little bit of confu confusion as <laughs> It looks like you see the conversation going on between Hanson and Monticelli, but make sure we got those pitch calls right because someone that has that velocity, like oh. what we're seeing from Monticelli, that can get that can get scary real quick if you're getting crossed up. Got to make sure you're on the same page. Three, two count. Good time to settle her down. Easy Hanson taking that leadership role and slowing the game down. to see Monticelli in this 3-2 count. What would be the tying run as far as the tying run at the plate in Parker. Here in the bottom half of the fourth, which we're gonna call the seventh, last inning of the game. <laughs> and good job by Avery Hodge doing what she's done all night and getting rid of Parker at first base, and Avery Hodge has been smooth as they come. She's done a great job defensively, had a good slap offensively, using her speed. You're salty about the slap. I am, I'm a little bit upset. I think she needed some points on that one. <laughs> and good job by Jennings, reading the high hop. Love that she's been able to cover ground going both directions from second and short. And sky high to none other than Avery Hodge, and that will do it. Monticelli working around the Tiare Jennings double, and that'll do it for game one of the battle series. Team two wins it four to two to one. Team two put up four runs, team three with two with two runs and team one with one. And team two is going to take game one of the battle series, but I'll say this, the freshman came out swinging, pickering with the two run shot. And oh yeah, we had another freshman wanting to get in on the fun. Maya Bland taking it to the deepest part of the field with a couple of RBIs. And then we saw it again, a burrito bomb, Dusty Martinez. A burrito bomb, Pickering, and we saw some action tonight. I am so excited for what's to come. 
Jada Coleman doing it again, just finding a way to get on board, get her team some momentum. I had fun tonight. I think what we're going to see with these Sooners is just excitement, aggressiveness, and and just falling out. I think it was a fun night and excited to see the rest of the season. And here are your Taco Mile final stats. Cassidy Pickering, the freshman, 84 points, leading the entire team in points here tonight. One for two with a two-run shot, two walks, and a pair of RBI. Alyssa Brito, 67 total points, going one for three with a solo home run, threw a walk, and had a hard hit. We saw quite a few of those tonight. Jada Coleman, 67 points as well. Two for four, a double, a single, and a pair of RBI. We saw such great ball here tonight, and from some new faces as well. Pickering, 84 points. Leading the charge is the freshman. Your Taco Mile final stats. Bigger savings, download and save today at Taco Mayo. And what a night in game one of the battle series. We saw a little bit of it all, Destiny. I loved it all. I loved the, the energy, the aggressiveness, the fun, the freedom. So much fun, just pit, epitome of OU softball. Team two takes game one, four to two. For Destiny, Destiny Martinez, I'm DJ Sanchez. Boomer Sooner, everybody. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves <laughs> to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot, oh, I did it. <laughs> Thank you very much. you'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. How good does it feel when Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less? When you can save on good and gather groceries and all the fall flavors. And when quality ingredients bring more to the table. When you get low prices on the latest trends. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you're serving up tastes they love at low prices. That's Totally Target. There's a saying in Louisiana that's been handed down for generations. Pass a good time. It means whenever friends and family get together, good times and good food is definitely on the table. Tony Sachery's famous Creole seasoning has always been part of that celebration. Whether it's in the kitchen or at the table, it adds authentic Louisiana flavor to your favorite foods and smiles to your favorite faces. So remember to pass a good time and the Tony Sachery's. Tony Sachery's makes everything taste great. Fine. Humans are noisy. They like to make things. They're fueled by inspiration. Inspiration and something called tacos. Change makes them nervous, but embracing it changes everything. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> 